Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and I am packing to go to Florida. I leave for Disney World tomorrow. That is right. I leave for Disney World tomorrow. I just finished packing. I filmed the whole thing for you guys. I'm going to walk through you guys how I decided to pack for my trip. It is December when I'm going. I'm going over New Year's, so December, January, which is a time I've actually never traveled to Disney World in before. So the weather is going to be extremely different than if you are watching this and going on a trip in, say, August. The temperature is going to be extremely different. So make sure if you are going to Disney World, you are just packing for the weather that is happening while you are down there. The weather forecast is available with wherever so just make sure you are checking that out. Additionally I am going for a full 10 days so I personally decided to pack in a large suitcase. I did this for two reasons. A I'm going for 10 days. That's a lot of days. I have a lot of stuff. I am a chronic overpacker like I will 100% admit it I am terrible at overpacking. So you know what we got a little bit of overpacking going on but I am well prepared for 10 days. Additionally I am flying with Swoop Airlines out of Hamilton Ontario which means that a carry-on bag costs the same as a checked bag. You get a free personal item, but you have to pay for a carry-on and or checked bag. So obviously I'm getting the checked bag because I can bring so much more stuff for the exact same price as the carry-on. So the first thing I always do when I'm packing to go on vacation is I try on the potential clothes I want to wear. This is so, so important. So first off, I start off putting on some good sweats, making sure everything is nice and clean and washed in my closet so I have my full wardrobe to select things from. And and then I pull out all the things that I think potentially would be great to wear. From here on, I try on each outfit, deciding what I want to wear on each day, specifically coordinating those outfits to the weather because that is extremely important. You don't want to be too hot, don't want to be too cold, you want it to be perfect. The overall vibe of this trip is definitely going to be Disney spirit jerseys. I live for that vibe. Honestly, that's just kind of the vibe of my life, if we're being completely honest. Disney spirit jerseys, my favorite thing ever. And if you're totally okay with like just throwing in t-shirts and shorts or whatever, that is totally fine. I care a lot about what I wear because I like to look good in like photos and that. I know I care about it way more than I should. I am well aware, don't worry. However, you know what? It's not hurting anyone and it's just something I like to do. When I've tried on all my clothes, I just laid them out on the floor in kind of the order that I'm going to wear them in. So the very first thing I do before I start packing literally anything is I sit down with my bullet journal and I start creating some bullet journal spreads for my Disney trip. So I just started bullet journaling. Full disclosure, I'm not that great at it. This is just for my reference and for me to look at. So on the first page here, I do just have Disney World and the dates that I am going. On the next page, I did make a list that says before I leave. So on here, I have the videos I have to film, edit, and post. Down here, I have the things I need to do. And over here, I have the things that I need to buy. On this side, I do have a packing list. So I've sorted it into two main sections. So right up here, I have clothes that I need to bring. And right down here, I just have other items that I need to bring. I then do the same with my carry-on. So I'm not sure if you guys can see the green marker here, but I do just have a page for my carry-on and just all the things that need to go in it. I also have just down at the bottom here what outfit I'm going to wear on the plane. After I've tried all the clothes on, I go into my bullet journal and I just write down for each day what I'm going to wear, what ears I'm going to pair with it, what shoes I'm going to pair with it, how exactly I want each outfit to look on each day. So I start off just by laying out my suitcase on my bed, opening it up, making sure there is nothing inside. I will then put in the largest items first. So one thing I always do is make room for my makeup bag. So I'll put that in, make sure there's lots of room for it. I will also put in any of my extra shoes. I will wear my biggest pair of shoes on the plane, so this time around I'm wearing my Fila running shoes, which are the big chunky white shoes that I have. However, my Adidas, my flip-flops, my Crocs, I put in the bottom of my bag because then not only will the dirty bottoms, the shoes be just, you know, on the bottom of the bag and not necessarily on my clean clothes, but it also leaves room where I can stuff things like socks or whatever inside of the shoes while I'm packing the other stuff. From here, I will put in my clothes. So, because I have the outfits laid out from day to day, I'm going to start with the very last day, put that in first, and then do the second last day, continue on. So that way, when I'm grabbing stuff out of my suitcase, the first day's clothes are right on top. It's in the order. Everything is already set up, ready to go. If I do want to transfer it into drawers of the hotel, I can just literally take those piles, insert them right in. It makes for a much faster convenience later. After this, I'll just put in any extra clothes. So I'm taking an extra pair of jeans, leggings, an extra spirit jersey, an extra t-shirt, my raincoat, two rain ponchos, just to make sure that everything I have, there's always extra. I'm also bringing a 
ton of extra pairs of socks in case it rains or something. So next I pack my toiletries and my makeup. So in my makeup I have this big black makeup bag that I use to put stuff in and then I pile smaller bags inside of that just to keep everything nice and organized. And then I also have this pink bag that I put all of my liquids in. So this is going to be my shampoo, conditioner, makeup remover, anything that could possibly spill. That way if it does happen to spill in my bag or explode or whatever, it's just kind of quarantined to that one bag in one location. The inside of that bag is vinyl so it's going to be really easy to clean out. As I'm packing my makeup and toiletries, a lot of those I do use on an everyday basis. So I will not actually be able to pack them until the day that I am leaving, so tomorrow morning. However, I do want to make sure that they do get packed because obviously I use them every day. They are super important. So what I do is while I'm packing, I have a pad of paper beside me and I just write down any items that I need to put in the day of. That way I'm not going to forget anything. Just adding any extra items in after that. For this trip, I decided to add in a little bit of food. We're not on the dining plan. We're not even staying on Disney property. So food is definitely an extra cost. Any food I can bring from home is definitely going to be helpful. I then close up my suitcase. I have these orange luggage straps I put on for the airport because, let's be honest, bringing a Disney World suitcase to Disney World is not the most unique thing I've ever done in my life. And that is all. I just weighed my suitcase. It is 45 pounds, so we should be good to go. I'm allowed up to 50. The weight is definitely coming in in the full size products that I brought. I didn't go out and buy small travel versions just because I didn't think it was necessary. So a lot of those products, because I only have a little bit left, are probably not going to be coming back with me at all. So there will be a little bit of extra room and a little bit of extra weight to come back. And that is how I pack for Disney World. If you guys want to see videos on my airport essentials, what's in my carry-on, and just my general Disney trip, make sure you stay tuned to this channel. Make sure you check it out, subscribe, hit that notification button to learn all about my Disney World trip. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a magical rest of your day.